Hey guys, this is Charles with Neo Kizomba, and today we are bringing you seven leading tips to becoming more musical on the Kizomba dance floor. And the reason why I felt a need to create this video was in 2014, I've definitely had the opportunity to travel and teach my Neo Kizomba method in East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, in Texas, in Mexico, and in Canada. And I've been very fortunate to have those opportunities. Um, one of the things that I see in common across all scenes is some of the beginning kizomberos, they get confused on the musicality. They get confused on what to dance to and whether they should be dancing a pattern or they get really confused on the dance floor. And sometimes you see that in their social dancing. So as an instructor, I can see what I taught in class and then I can take a look and see what the guys are doing on the social dance floor that night. And sometimes there's a disconnect. And some guys kind of have that kind of basic one deer in the headlights look because they're not sure what to try next. And they're kind of dancing the same way to every single song. So there's some musicality that's missing for sure. And then you have those guys that are kind of doing random tricks and fancy moves, but it's not to the music. They just kind of happen at random because they're trying to impress the girl, they're not trying to express themselves to the music. And this is one of the reasons with my Neo Kizuma method I don't like to teach patterns. I think on the dance floor the guys just teach that 3-8 count or 4-8 four, eight, four, eight count pattern and then they're doing basic one into the next pattern and there's no variation in the pattern or anything like that because they haven't got to that level yet. So I really like to teach Lego blocks and we won't get into my whole teaching method towards Kizoma, but teaching the guys variations of the same move will, I think, will facilitate more musicality on the dance floor. It all comes down to the Kizomba trifecta of connection. So you have connection with your partner, you have connection with the ground, and then you have connection with the music. So you can have everything in place to have an awesome dance, but if you aren't musical, if you aren't listening to the music, then the Kizomba dance isn't as memorable anymore. And so this video is definitely for you guys here so you guys can start to be more musical on the Kizoma dance floor. And I'm going to be giving you guys actionable steps and tips and advice to kind of train you guys' ear and get you guys more musical on this floor, yeah? Let's get started. All right, the first tip to becoming more musical on the Kizoma dance floor is simply listening to more Kizoma music but off the dance floor. So if you don't have any Kizoma songs, there are plenty of songs on SoundCloud. I'll be sure to include a link. For you guys to my SoundCloud channel so you guys can start to listen to more and more and more Kizoma songs on the dance floor. You guys need to start to have at least 10 favorite songs that you know like the back of your hand. And if you hear those songs on the social then those should be your best dances because those are the ones that you can dance to and connect with the most to the music. Training your ears as well to the musical changes and musical composition as far as the intro, the verses, the choruses, the bridges, and things like that will help you start start to anticipate and be more intuitive on the Kizoma dance floor as well. So I can't stress that enough. Listen to more Kizoma songs. So buy Kizoma music on iTunes, listen to it on SoundCloud, but you have to listen to more and more Kizoma music off the dance floor, not on the dance floor. 